Are you in the right relationship? And the question is, have to question this shit every day. Never let a time go past you where you don't ask these questions. <clears throat> because when you ask questions, you receive answers. And sometimes the answers ain't always pleasant. Sometimes the answers ain't always fair. But of course, if you show fear by questioning things, you would never receive the right answers. Your spirit always going to tell you if you're in the right relationship or if you're in the wrong relationship. But 10 times out of 10, some people don't see behind the fog. Some people don't see behind the illusions. Some people be lost into an illusion. <clears throat> and of course, these illusions will have you blindsided at the simple fact that this person is not the one. Literally. Simply. And of course, we as individuals should know these things. Because to relate means responding to something that you guys can withstand and withhold. And of course, if you can't withhold a relationship, <clears throat> then what makes you think you're going to withhold any boundaries with this person? Feel me? Because if you can't relate properly with this person, then it's really no point in even basically wasting your time. Feel me? And time ain't nothing to be wasted on. Especially if it's on some bullshit. And of course, nobody gonna wanna pick up your bullshit. Nobody gonna wanna basically smell your bullshit. So you gotta make sure you keep your shit clean. Making sure that whatever goes on in that relationship that you guys are going on, make sure those beans ain't being spilled in the wrong pot. Feel me? Learn how to separate it. Learn how to not put things in a mixed element. Because of course, if you mixing things up, Certain eating, certain ingredients don't really rock with certain ingredients. And of course, it could cause a catastrophic event where volcanoes start to erupt. And of course, if shit start to erupt, then things get chaotic. And of course, people die. Shit get real. People get hurt. Feelings get hurt. Feel me? Emotions get tarnished. And you don't want shit to tarnish. <clears throat> you want shit to basically be very stable. And of course, it's very important to always handle the mind of things. And if you don't handle the main of things. You allow these things to slip up. And when you allow shit to slip up, that means you got too comfortable with an individual disrespecting you. And of course, if you in a relationship with any person and they disrespecting you, that's your time to go ahead and separate yourself from that individual. Feel me? Because you allowed yourself to allow them to be comfortable in your space. <clears throat> and of course, crucify your ass. Disrespect your ass. Put your ass on, on, put your ass on the stage, and make you look bad, embarrass you, expose you, and of course you don't want to allow the individual to do that. You got comfortable, <clears throat> and of course this is where you allow your comfort zone to zone you out. Feel me? Yeah, which means you an illusion now, which you think this shit is cool that the, that what this person doing to you, but deep down, witnesses will even explain. Oh, by the way, this ain't cool. Feel me? It's nothing, nothing that's cool. If many people are agreeing on it, not cool. Some people have their differences. But if we talk in a general population thing, there ain't nothing to basically get away from with this. Because if the world see it, but if you don't see it, you got to clear out the fog. Get that white shit out your eyes. You'll be able to actually see the right prize. Your eyes will be on the prize. You won't be marching with a bunch of monkeys that basically puts you in a circumstance situation of getting caught and trapped <clears throat> to a light. If you claim to those agreements, if you claim to those terms and conditions, you allow that shit to be written in your world, which means you allow somebody else to create their own introspection, their own Bibles, and put it right in front of you. Now, <clears throat> what happens if it's in front of you? It start to smell. It start to get eradicated. You gonna eat it. You eating it. You paying attention to it. You digesting it, so now it's in you. Now it's creating in you. Now you're creating cells out of it. Now you just have put yourself <clears throat> in a bondage, a seal. Now they're about to seal the deal, close the deal. You signed off, you read, you put your name on the dotted line, and of course, these lin these lineage lineages are starting to line right into your area. And all you had to do was say, no, I don't agree to this. But you allow this motherfucker to tell you some bullshit. 
and you agree with it, and now you ain't shit. They rap to. <laughs> this is how individuals get caught up and shit. This is how individuals keep coming back to the same shit. And this is how individuals is not elevating the shit. <clears throat> so, if you not elevating, you got an issue, feel me? Your emotional state is not purified, feel me? You have to make sure these things is cleared out. You have to be very specific. That's another thing. <clears throat> you ain't specific with your individual in a relationship. You're not specifically speaking with this person and telling this person what you want to allow and what you do not want to allow. And of course, this individual is going to work on you. You're not specific with the individual. You're not telling the individual what you want. And you're not basically spilling the beans to allow them to basically tell them what they want. Y'all just basically got caught into an illusion. By seeing each other with what they have, which could be some goodies, feel me? You get lost with the shapes, the forms, the bodies, and the avatars and shit. And boy, we go right to this shit. And that's the only thing people basically really truly admire when it comes to relationships. That could be another reason why you're in the wrong relationship, too. If you see somebody for their body and they desire, now ain't nothing wrong with being lustful. <clears throat> ain't nothing wrong with that shit. But 10 times out of 10. When it comes down to them bed, when it's something down, getting her in them, in them sheets, <clears throat> that's truly important. Because you can either waste your magic, or your magic could be put towards something that you, know, you both can basically get the benefit out of, the doubt out of it. Ain't, no, ain't gonna be no doubt. Y'all have, have a mentality where y'all can blend in together and focus on what y'all trying to basically create together. Then it's really no mistake. But if you individuals that's out here just lollygagging, Connecting with individuals just because y'all doing it for lust. Y'all fucking demons. And you're going to fucking get crucified in your own hell for doing shit like that. Because you're doing shit wrong. You're doing shit backwards. Feel me? <clears throat> you doing shit backwards. Fuck a ring. Fuck. Oh, you got to get married first. Once you go in that pussy, that's marriage. This is the ring. This is the pipe. So once you go in, that's marriage. Ring or not, that's marriage already. So, that's real marriage. Now, if you're talking this physical marriage, that's somebody else's adultery. Somebody else's way of having you look at the world. And if you're looking at the world in a way where they told you to do these things, you are now in somebody else's rapture. You didn't even create your own relationship system. <clears throat> you're going about what the rules say. And of course, if you allow the rules to be applied to you, you up under somebody else's shit. And you ain't got your own shit. And if you ain't got your own shit, what happens? You fall, you going to fall short. Because for me, you're not standing on your own business. You're standing on somebody else's business. And remember, they can kick you off the turf or keep you on the turf. You never want to put yourself into a position of worrying if you're going to have this tomorrow or this tomorrow or that tomorrow. No, this shit is going to be guaranteed. That's the space you need to really be in. Never put yourself into a position and, oh, I don't know if I'm going to have this. No, motherfucker. This shit is going to be here tomorrow, and that's that. You never should have to look over your shoulders. You never have to worry about no shit like that, feel me? And if you have to really worry about shit like that, then this is really a problem. This is an issue going on. And, of course, <clears throat> you're going to need some tissues for your issues. You're going to cry. You're going to experience some waterfalls, some loops, some downfalls. But if you can keep your space purified and release. And smile and keep it moving and be strong. <clears throat> somebody gonna work with you. Somebody gonna work with you. Whoever you believe in, they gonna send somebody to help your ass. That's what's gonna happen. Whoever you believe in. But you gotta believe in yourself first before you go out here believing in somebody else's theories. If you don't know who you are, you got an issue. For me. And nobody gonna give you tissues for your own issue. You gotta create your own tissue. You gotta create your own ways of getting them tears on the surface. Sometimes them tears should be predicated towards smiles. Not no sadness, not no depression, not no anxiety or no worrying and shit like that. No, whatever you worrying about is what you paying attention to. And you throwing bad light on it. So that light that you're shining on it needs to be basically unshined. Because if that light is not helping you in the light or area where you need to basically focus your attention on, then these things is not going to really help you grow. Feel me? You're going to ungrow. And when you're ungrowing, and that means you're, the grass is very dirt. The grass is not green enough. Feel me? <clears throat> Sometimes you got to cut your grass. See if a snake in there. But 10 times out of 10, you got to have clear sight and clear vision. 
If these things is not clear for you to see what's going on, then of course you're going to be blindsided. And when you're blind, you don't have no sight, no vision. Your vision gets calcified. And if you have a calcified vision, that means you're paying attention to too many things and you're not seeing what's going on behind the scenes. So if you, you need to basically check yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because if you wreck yourself, ain't nobody can basically help yourself. You're only going to be able to put yourself into another position of repeating the same process. And of course, process of elimination is key. Whatever don't belong needs to be elevated out of your space. Whether it's internally or externally. <clears throat> but you got to spend some time with yourself. Before you even try to like look towards another relationship. Or another wealth. Or another health. Ten times out of ten, your partner may be lazy. Ten times out of ten, your partner may not be even be for you. Feel me? After a while, things change. Feel me? It's like the balance scales. If you got the balance scales and you got sand, you guys are going to see the sand falling. And when that sand is falling, you're going to have to come up with a new theory, a new way of relating, a new way of basically being compromised in a relationship. Because if things is not changing, like Venus and Libra, then you guys' relationship is basically going to be unbalanced. And when things get unbalanced, once that shit is finished running out, once the bell of scales is finished running out, then <clears throat> it's over with. For me, it's time to move on. For me, and it's very hard for individuals to move on because they put too much time, too much energy, and too much effort into the relationships, almost to the point of like, they fall hard with it. For me? And when you fall hard, that means you were lost, you was lost deeply into a desire. And when you get too lost into a desire, you put yourself in a holistic manner, which means you're going to the extremes for these things. It's almost to the point where you don't believe that things can come out in a positive light. You only believe that things is coming out in a negative light. And if you keep allowing yourself to believe that shit, you're going to be creating the wrong lights, the wrong atmospheres, the wrong space, the wrong shadows. But of course, it's important to basically get in your own shadow, <clears throat> see your own reflection. But 10 times out of 10, if you don't do these things, you're going to reflect and neglect yourself. And of course, the light that you basically put into put in intuition towards to, attention towards to, that light is basically going to be so dark and heavy. That means all the dirt from the external presence is inside of it, which means you don't have a filtering system. Your filtering system is not clean. You ain't pretty much diminish it, and you ain't basically create no creative endeavors that basically balance out the wells and balance out the scales. That's why you become a well. You become underneath the surface, which means you don't want to basically come out from the ocean. Basically, you are stuck in there with all that heaviness and heavy weightness and heavy distances. You put yourself too much at the bottom, and of course, when you're too much at the bottom, you're going to be in resistance mode, which means you don't want to basically come up. And of course, you're going to eat everything. Eat all those feelings, all those emotions, all those energies, and all those references and prefaces that you basically was basically pondering and towards to. So you got to be very careful out here, man. If you don't love yourself, don't even get into a relationship with nobody, feel me? Because <clears throat> you guys, what you guys are going to do is create frustration. This is going to be it's gonna be a good lust in the beginning, but when it gets to the middle, the middle, and of course, no change, nothing, it becomes stagnation. You guys are doing the same thing over and over again. This is what you call a wasted relationship, which means your spouse is not for you. This person, this individual is not for you. This person is just basically someone with a benefits of the doubt, which means you're always doubting that the shit would never change, but they just basically benefiting in a certain area. And after a while, that get tiring. Because it's like, after a while, it's like, okay, cool. What are we going to do next? <clears throat> we're going to keep doing the same shit. We're going to basically change. And life comes with change. And if you're not willing to basically change, the universe going to make sure that that relationship or that boyfriend, that girlfriend, remember key word, end, boyfriend, girlfriend, so it got to end. It got an end date. Just like your physical body got an expiration date. This relationship and this hate ship, whether it's a hate ship or a relationship, it has an end date. And of course, when that end date is done, what's going to happen is you guys are going to witness transformation. And of course, this transformation can be a good transformation or bad transformation. But it's always important to basically end a relationship on good terms. You never want to end a relationship on bad terms. Because when you end it on bad terms, 10 times out of 10, you're practicing heaviness. Weightness. Of course, these things basically start to pop up and basically start to haunt you down the scenes. That's why it's very important <clears throat> to use a little bit of fire, a little bit of alchemy and chemistry to basically burn away all those feelings and emotions and all those replaceable items. But yeah.